the simple stuff that you can do to kind of um, kind of get the skin tone, the color that you want, of the skin tone. Um, and this this is still uh, stem links, y'all, because y'all know now stem is also steam, science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. So art is part of stem links. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just, Charcoal too. Do anybody know who this is? Bet y'all don't know who this is. I thought she probably guessed it, but you probably know. Nobody else? Marcus. So, Alright, so this is George Washington Carver. Anybody know who George Washington Carver is? You said yeah. Who? Peanut butter dude. He said peanut butter dude. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He invented peanut butter. Did a lot with peanuts. Peanut oil, peanut butter. So many more, more things. He's a scientist. So we're talking about science, technology, and engineering, mathematics. So he's a scientist, great black scientist. So um, yeah, this is George Washington Carver. And with him, this is all charcoal as well. And you can see the actual color of the paper is, is gray. So sometimes I use like a color of the paper to kind of set my skin tone. Like let's say we like I'm going to draw a shade again. I was drawing shade again. Like I like to help my skin tone, I just use like a brown piece of paper. It already kind of gives her her tone, right? Then I can use like the black from the charcoal to give her more detail, leave it around her eyes. She's got like dark brown eyes. So I can use the charcoal to fit make her eyes, some parts of her dreads. And then like, this see she got gray hair. So most time when people see hair, they always kind of like, um, Draw strings, like stringy, stringy hair. But in real life, getting how hair look. I mean, when you're looking at somebody, I don't, I can't see every string on shit here. So I wouldn't draw strings of hair. What I would draw is like um, a blotch of hair, like you know, blotch it in, like different, like you know, sections of hair, and then make it look more realistic that way. Um, because we we visual beings, and our eyes when we see stuff, we kind of always kind of and you know kind of put two and two together with it. Like, you ever see somebody um, uh, write a sentence and they miss out a couple letters out of the word? You know, like, they, they're trying to spell a word, but they miss the word, mis- misspell the word. Mm-hmm. But you know exactly what they're trying to what say. What they're trying to because say. You, because, you, because your mind already knows what's supposed to be there. Same way with, with um, same way right here when I was talking about those lost edges with his neck. Your mind already knows there's supposed to be a neck right here. So you are when you see the head and, don't, and, it, and it doesn't look like his head is floating in the air, do it? He actually like it's like he got a neck and he's sitting here with his neck through the, with his own shirt. So um, the lost edges, your mind already tell you that there's a neck there. Same way your mind always tells you. Presentation on art. Uh, Mr. Lyons. Oh, I see. Misspelling sentence. Stemming.